welcome to my channel my name is Mia and today I'm here to talk with you guys about my reading choices for the anti-bully readathon that is gonna be going on through November 16th all the way till November 22nd. Sarah Churchill created this readathon uh, last year so this will be the second year for the readathon. I did not participate last year um, I wasn't aware of it but this year I found out about it through Elena Reed's books uh, TBR video and I loved it I love the idea of it and I definitely decided I wanted to participate so I know I have a crazy TBR as it is for the month of November and I'm being overly ambitious with this TBR as well but as long as I get to read some of these books I'm happy and as long as I get to participate in the goal which is to bring awareness to the fact that bullying is a real thing and it does affect many people it doesn't matter if you're in school or a grown up at work unfortunately it spreads everywhere and the more awareness we can bring to it the better the more ways we can find to stop it or end the bullying the better so if you are interested in participating I would highly recommend you to check out Sarah's um, announcement video which I will link down below there's also some cool shareable art that she made that I'll have down below if I can if not you can definitely get it from her video as well and I will also urge you to go ahead and join the Goodreads group so that we can talk about our experiences perhaps share some of our experiences or perhaps share some advice on how to deal with it there is also a list of recommendations and uh, book recommendations that has been created that i'll link down below it's a goodreads list and that's where i got all of the books that i'm intending to read that's where i got the the recommendations from it doesn't necessarily have to be a book that is entirely about bullying it could be just a book that talks about bullying the ultimate goal of course is to read as many books as possible during this week or during the week of the readathon and then share what you gain from the story what you thought of it another way in which you can help this readathon spread and get more known so that more people can participate because this is a very important topic in my opinion um i've been a victim of bullying most of my life not continuously but through several different points of my life and it's very hurtful and it's a horrible thing to go through and hopefully this videos and this group conversations and this community can help those who may be going through it at the moment uh, help them deal with it or how to stop it let's go ahead and talk about the books that i'm intending to read during this week again this is kind of an unrealistic tbr who knows perhaps i do read them all let's not be negative okay let's let's keep a positive mind over here so the first two books are actually books that i own um these books I didn't necessarily know it included bullying so that's why it's very cool to check out that list maybe you have books on your TBR already that you have not heard of having bullying in the book or in the story but anyways the first book I intend to read or one of the books that I intend to read during this week is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella I don't know much about this book at all I saw it on the list and I had it on my shelf so I picked it up but I think it's about a girl Audrey who because of an accident or an experience of sorts she develops anxiety and she's struggling with that uh, she has a hard time being in public places or being around people and then I believe as she's working with her therapist or her psychologist she meets this boy and I think there's a romance as well in the story and that romance helps Audrey deal with her anxiety and overcome you know all of her struggles so it sounds fun and adorable and I'm 
I really can't wait to read it. But I do find it that is very helpful. It has been very helpful for me at least to talk about it with someone else to be able to confine in someone what you're going through and have that sort of support there has been very helpful for me at least so i'm very excited to read the story it sounds adorable the other book that i plan to read during this week is eleanor and park by rainbow rao and i don't believe i've read a book by rainbow rao before so i'm very excited to read one of her stories and i've heard so many good things about this particular story that i can't wait to read it I don't know many details. I try to not know too much about the stories I jump into um, because I like to experience all the feelings, everything fresh. Even if it's a movie or a TV show, I don't really like to know anything at all that's go of what may happen. I want to experience all the feelings as they come. And all I know is that it's a Roman story, is based on a one year in school from these two kids and it's kind of you know like they know that first loves don't typically last but they want to try it out anyways and i don't know it sounds adorable it's it has great reviews and i can't wait to read it i think i'm really really gonna like it and the next three books i got them at the library because i didn't own them and i really wanted to read them so the first one that i got at the library is wonder and this is by R RJ Palacio and I've heard it's a wonderful story from what I understand is about a boy who was born with a facial deformity that prevented him from going to regular school until now so I believe he's going into fifth grade so it's about his journey in school and you know he is a normal boy and he has to basically convince everybody else that he's just like them regardless of his appearance and I am pretty sure I'm going to absolutely love it I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry with it I'm very emotional <laughs> I'm an emotional person and it's very easy for me to cry with stories it's very easy especially if there's stories about someone that feels as an outsider and stories that I can relate to so I'm very very excited to read this story very very excited I've been wanting to read it for a very long time and I hadn't I don't know why but I guess this is why because this is the time to read it so I can't wait I'm very very excited about this one so another book that I really want to get through this week would be falling into place and this is by Amy Sang Hope I say your last name correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. I don't know anything at all about this story. Nothing at all. I thought it was probably about fitting in just because of the title falling into place. I really don't know but I really liked the cover. I don't know it just called me okay it just told me please read me and then when I was looking on the list I saw that it was in there so I thought perfect and I picked it up but I really know nothing nothing about this story I'm hoping that I like it I think I will pretty sure I will and the last book that I intend to read would be The Kite Runner and again I don't know too much about this um but I'll tell you a little bit of what it says in the back. It says, The relationships between fathers and sons, upper class and outer caste, loyalty and betrayal, set against a historical background, had an epic feel that seemed rooted in a past century. And yet, despite the novel's old-fashioned storytelling, the subject of the kite runner couldn't be more relevant today. Through the doomed friendship of two boys, we witness the tragic history of Afghanistan in the past 30 years, from the last days of the monarchy to the Soviet invasion, and on to the atrocities of the Taliban. It just sounds very, very interesting. I love stories that take place in other countries, countries I have yet to visit. Um, that is very interesting to me. And I think I'm really, really gonna like it. I have pretty high expectations about this one. And these are all the books that I hope to read or hopefully as many of them as possible during that readathon. I am so very excited. I'm so glad people kept recommending books and adding them to that list. There are so many books in that list, so I'm sure you'll find at least one book in your bookshelf that you could use to 
participate in the readathon. And if you felt inspired or if you want to participate on the readathon, do let me know. I would love to know which books do you plan on reading or is there a specific book you recommend? I would urge you again to please check out uh, both videos that I mentioned earlier, the one by the creator, Sarah Churchill, and the other one by Elena Reads Books as well. Check out both of their channels, they're great, I'm sure you'll like them. And again, check out the Goodreads uh, chatting group so that hopefully we can get to know each other and talk a little bit and share events in our lives if you feel up to it. Anyways, I hope this video was to your enjoyment and I will see you very very soon in another video.